Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourselves today and nurture yourself right back into life. We are literally herbivores in our nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and get with alkalinity and you can generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically. Set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You are now tuning in to great days. So, um, pretty much wanted to talk a little bit on uh, Shivratri. Okay, which if you do not know, it's a type of uh, monthly period. It's it's like a, a period during the month or a specific day during the month where it is celebrated. Shiva is pretty much celebrated. Uh, Shiva, if you do not know, is a or is the Hindu god of destruction. Okay, um, he he has the blue skin. You know, he uh, resides in the Himalayas. So this is why he has blue skin or outer space as well. Um, and, and he's all about uh, destruction, you know. So what Shivratri pretty much is, is it's, um, once again, it's like a monthly holiday or a celebration that goes on to pretty much um, celebrate the, the heightened energy that is uh, present during the time, you know, because there's like uh, certain astrological alignments that are taking place on these specific days of the month, and and uh, the the most specific day of the peak of these astrological alignments are pretty much um, what is upsurging our energy in, in a very particular way, allowing for a heightened receptivity to some of these higher metaphysical dimensions, right? And this uh, specific day where we're receptive enough to experience or perceive these metaphysical dimensions is what Shivratri is all about. It's all about celebrating the, re the receptivity to these uh, higher dimensions, you know. And, and in being able to perceive these and in being able to experience these higher metaphysical dimensions, which go beyond the physical body, your uh, identity is, is pretty much uh, destroyed in, in, in totality because as you have these experiences of, of being able to go beyond your, your physical body and your mind into these higher dimensions, uh, it makes way for the destruction of, of who you thought you were as a, as a person, you know, as a persona. Um, so, so there's the destruction in it, that Shiva. You know, his name stands for, uh, or his name means that which is not, because Shiva is all about uh, the non-existing, you know, like like metaphysicality, um, or, or I want to say spiritual dimensions, all right? So, so he's not physical being. Um, he's portrayed as physical being, but, but what he does is uh, he's all about that which is not that's what his name translates to okay so um shiva today is shivratri which uh they celebrate the the uh reception to the higher dimensions you know because of the astrological alignments and everything that's going on to have that upsurge of energy and, and consciousness um now what it, what i wanted to talk about is there's like monthly so there's monthly celebrations all year round, right, of Shivratri, but then there's uh, one annual celebration of Maha Shivratri. So there's regular just Shivratri, and then there's Maha Shivratri, which Maha in Hindu means great. I think 
It means great, yeah. So it's like the great Shivratri. And this one only takes place once a year. And I did a video on this. Uh, it happens in March, around March 13th or March 11th. One of those days, but I did a video on it and I even made a poem for it uh, called Dance of Consciousness. Okay, it's a Shiva uh, poem. But I also did an event, or no, a video on the, the event um, pretty much going over my day, you know, uh, during Mahashivratri. And um, after, after Mahashivratri, it, it pretty much continue, continues itself every month, uh, but only in a very, um, in, in a subtler upsurge of energy. On Mahashivratri, it would be a, a, a very, very heightened peak of, of this upsurge of energy and, and consciousness, you know, a bigger celebration pretty much. But uh, today it is once again Shivratri, so there is this heightened energy, there is a heightened consciousness, there is, um, I want to say, uh, a receptivity to, to that which is not, you know, which is pretty much non-existent, the ether, uh, the space, the, the akash, okay, um, connection to the collective unconscious, collective conscious, uh, both of them connection to the akashic records as well uh on a subtle level okay this is pretty much shivratri so one thing that i also wanted to talk about was pretty much um how life is uh just a show okay and and this is what they they meant by maya in hindu so if you're not familiar with maya maya in hindu sanskrit means energy or it means magic or it means illusion okay um because because uh what they see as maya it's kind of like the matrix you know the matrix is pretty much just like a giant show it's just like a giant earthy entertainment you know it's it's a giant play and everybody is playing their role, everybody is playing their part. This is why we're called peoples, this is why we're called persons. Uh, person actually emanates from the word persona, okay, and persona comes from Greek, meaning uh, a mask, you know, uh, because we are all just playing a role, right? Each and every person within society in the matrix or in maya it is just uh an act they're an actor everybody is an actor and underneath the mask it's literally just um it's one energy we're all just one organism we're all one being we're all one god or we're all just one um i'm gonna say energy it's just all consciousness you know um so what god does god or everything that there is the one energy it plays this this entertainment on itself it, it plays it puts this play on right like like an entertainment um, like a cosmic play or a cosmic uh, entertainment and then it starts uh, outfitting itself with various different roles to each and every person you know so so me in this life I am named Andrew Viaria Okay, this is my government name. This is the name that I was given. And it comes with a specific role. You know, usually uh, your family, they fit you into a specific role. You know, they had some specific role and they try to teach that to you. And you either carry it out or you break tradition and you pretty much go into a different role. You know, but, but if you live in society, you're going to find yourself... Um, you're gonna find yourself playing a, an act, you know, you're an actor, you're a role. But that's not who you really are. Who you really are is just the energy, it, because it's all just a show, it's all maya. You know, this is uh, coming from Hindu Sanskrit, this is what they understood very, very long time ago. Um, and that's the truth about it. And this is what Shivratri can bring as well, because of the, the receptivity to the uh, peak of of energy and consciousness simultaneous it allows for for perceiving these metaphysical dimensions you know even if it may be um still a little bit unconscious it's still getting uh perceived in, in some dimension you know of mind and um 
because of that it actually allows you to go beyond the 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 stage or the cosmic drama you know it allows you to go beyond the maya and it allows you to break that illusion or it, go, it allows you to go beyond the matrix it allows you to break through that illusion as well and it uh allows you to see things as they truly are you know um that which is not you know that which doesn't exist unless you're able to raise consciousness which comes from a, an upsurge of energy okay um so what i wanted to pretty much make this video all about was um life being a show you know um they say that not to worry don't ever worry because life is just a show and that's the truth uh it's maya or it's the matrix but these both um they're pretty much the same you know they're both like a, sh a show or a stage that's being put on by god to keep himself entertained because he's eternal he's immortal or not he but it is immortal it is eternal all of life is eternal and it's just forever going on you know forever dancing um so what it does is it, it, it goes and puts these shows on, these cosmic dramas, these plays, this entertainment, and um, this is how it keeps itself occupied for these eternities, you know, uh, going back and forth from, from going deeply into the play and then coming out of it uh, to where we're one organism again and we're one uh, source. You know, right now we're fragmentized in consciousness and we all um, have ego. You know, uh, ego is something that we created because of the, the fragmentation. And as we were fragmentized in consciousness, we couldn't bear with, the, with the, uh, the pains that came with separating ourselves from a single source. So we had to create the ego for a type of um, distraction, you know, and, and this distraction is what this entertainment is all about. It's what the Maya is all about. It's, um, it's the show that we're, we're entertaining ourselves to keep ourselves distracted from uh, being fragmented from the single source, you know, so uh, then we go back and forth into it, we go into the single source and then we're, we're, we're God again and then we, we fragmentize over, uh, we fragmentize again and we just go back and forth with it, you know. And, and uh, fragmentation is what I want to call Maya, but it's illusion. Okay, and um, you'll see many Hindu gods. If you do the research, you'll see um, the the portrayals or the depictions of Hindu gods. They have their right hand up, you know, um, usually like they'll just be sitting cross-legged and they'll have their right hand up, okay? Uh, that is symbolic for um, them telling you not to worry, it's all a show. So if you ever see a Hindu god and they have their right hand up like this, on, a, on, a, uh, on another level, they're telling you not to worry, it's all a show. And if they have their, their right hand up, it's usually, uh, it, it, this is what they're telling you, you know. And, and they're also trying to get you to understand that that it's just all eternal so it's no really um it's not really a reason or there's no reason to ever i guess um fall into some type of some type of like misery or or uh anxiety or suffering because there's no reason to to feel any of that whenever you know it's all a, a stage you know it, it's just all one entertainment okay and and the the real basis of things is just like a blissful loving energy because it's all one organism and it's like nothing really wants to go as far as committing suicide you know at the extremity of it because um if if you do go to the extremity of that it's just for your role that you're fulfilling you know you specifically got an act or a role that has to make you play the villain, you know, um, or, or play the victim. And uh, that's just part of your role as, as an individual, you know. But that's illusion. It's a, a show. And they also say, uh, there's this other saying that goes, don't take seriously what the gods made for fun. 
And that's another one. It, it fits in with uh, life being a show, you know, because uh, since everything is energy, you know, E equals MC square. Since it's all energy, energy can never be created nor destroyed. It's just pure eternal energy, right? It's consciousness. Um, this is why it puts on shows to entertain itself. But since it's energy and it never dies or it's never even created and it's just eternal, it only transforms itself. It, it transcends its form continuously, eternally, you know. So this body, once it is shed, once it starts to degrade back into the soil or back into earth, uh, I'm going to, as a soul, I'm going to pretty much take up another form. I'm going to transcend this form and then I'm going to uh, come into another form, transforming, you know. Uh, and then we just continuously do this for eternity, you know. Uh, but, <laughs> goddamn. But, um, yeah, it, it's like people are aware of this. Some, some individuals, and these are the awakened individuals. The awakened individuals, they are aware of this and they, and they can remember their past lives and they can remember their future lives. They can remember... They can remember uh, their soul journeys, you know, they can remember all of these deeper um, These deeper experiences, you know, but then there's other people who are unaware of it and, and they're asleep You know and and these people don't remember anything, but it needs to be balanced a little bit uh, in specific periods of, of our existence in order to keep it um, healthy, you know, because if you're imbalanced it usually denotes uh, unhealthiness you know, and, and this can take place uh, on planets, you know, or even throughout the galaxy. Um, but, yeah, some people can actually remember their past lives. They can remember their soul journeys. They can remember future lives. They can remember uh, their incarnations as animal beings. They can remember their incarnations or uh, existing as ethereal, as ethereal beings. Um, you know, it goes, it goes deep. But... There's also individuals that can't remember anything, and uh, this is kind of like the threshold level of consciousness. Um, if you're able to go past the threshold level of consciousness, you open up all of these uh, past lives, these future lives. You open up all of this stuff, you know, but what the threshold level of consciousness does, it keeps that veil over, your, um, over you as, a, as an individual. It keeps a veil over you so that you won't know this stuff because it can cause trouble. Uh, it can it can pretty much bring in a karma that you're not ready to to uh, carry out yet, you know, on a conscious level, because it would cause you some sort of like detriment, you know. Um, so it, it's kind of like a chosen thing. Obviously, you can always uh, choose yourself. You know, you can uh, come to your own awakening, and this is what's taking place globally right now. Everybody is slowly coming into a spiritual awakening and this is just because of the the rise in the earth's kundalini energy or the rise in divine femininity or uh the specific phase we're in during our, our uh during the precession of the equinoxes or within the precession of the equinoxes okay which we're in dwapara yuga which has the earth going straight towards the center of the milky way and because it's going straight towards the center of the milky way there's a heightened energy uh, coming to the earth, you know, because the the peak of energy is at the center of the Milky Way. So if we're going towards that, the the Earth's energy is going to start rising, and if and if the Earth's energy rises, the inhabitants' energies rise as well. And if our energy rises, our consciousness rises, and and we can come into higher um, dimensions of existence, you know. But. Uh, yeah, don't take seriously what the gods made for fun, you know, because, uh, and I want to say that, that the Anunnaki, they're actually capable of, um, they're capable of creating entire universes, right? Because if you think about it, we right now as a, as a species, human race, we can create literally virtual worlds, right? Within little microchips nowadays. And, um, and then we can we can live within those universes, but they're virtual universes. They're like video games, right? But but the worlds are very expansive. You can literally stay years in, in one of those if you were willing, you know. So if you go up uh, up in in the evolution 
into like higher beings like the Anunnaki, these beings are able to actually create universes that um, that they're using for power source, if that makes any sense. You know, um, so what they're doing is they're creating universes and, uh, and, and they're creating multiverses and they're using these multiverses and all of their functionings to pretty much power their uh, their machines or their technologies or their planets or whatever it may be um, to pretty much continue doing that so that they can uh, continue evolve, evolving themselves you know and it's just like a creation thing they're creating the universe and they're able to pretty much um, advance themselves as they're creating universes so everything is benefiting from it so in that way these are beings who are very godlike right because they're creating universes um and what the gods created for fun don't take seriously they're literally just creating universes in abundance you know so so it's just uh they're doing it for fun you know there's nothing else to be doing it for so don't ever take it seriously because it's just uh all for fun and we're all eternal at the at the end of the day because we're all just energy or consciousness so it's like um don't get too don't get too uh i want to say involved in your role as an actor or as an individual or as an ego because uh it, it can bring about a lot of suffering because the ego as an actor or as an entity it thrives off of uh, fear it thrives off of suffering it, it thrives off of con uh, con conflicts it thrives off it thrives off of fighting so it's like if you're within ego it, it's just uh you're gonna find yourself within these lower vibrations but that's only because your soul is needing to go through the the process of, uh, of densifying itself in order to um, fill in some sort of role that will have your soul uh, evolve on, on a higher level, you know. And that's why you should really ne never take it seriously, no matter where you're at in your life, even if it's, uh, you know, thrown in a corner, starving, on the verge of death. It's all for some sort of progression on, on a higher level of, of being, okay. And, and that is just like a damn good role that you're trying to fill, you know, it's like um, like a William Shakespeare play. Okay, but, but the cosmic, uh, all of God is, is pretty much putting it on for, for itself, okay, or us, or we, or me, or you, okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. That's what I had to talk about on Shivratri today. It's most definitely a heightened energy. Okay, um, yeah, it's pretty much going to be it for today. Uh, never take seriously what the gods made for fun, and don't ever worry because it's all just a show. All right, so I do thank everybody for watching, and I hope you did enjoy the video today. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more daily content. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy. Generate some static electricity from the etheric body or the first layer of the aura. It needs to be strengthened and realized for the collective rise in consciousness. I love you, everybody. Have a great day. Peace out.